You can see this race remains a dead heat, with Romney holding on to the tiniest of leads, up one point over Obama among likely voters. And we have two new polls out this morning from those all-important battlegrounds. First, Virginia, where The Washington Post shows President Obama clinging to a four-point lead. That's down from eight points in mid-September. And in what may be the most consequential state of all, Ohio, more signs of momentum for Mitt Romney. The latest poll from a consortium of Ohio newspapers shows the race all tied up 49 to 49. And with that, let's hear from the campaigns. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich for Governor Romney, Deputy Campaign Manager Stephanie Cutter for President Obama. And Stephanie, let me begin with you and that poll out of Ohio. Mm -hmm. It shows Governor Romney coming on very strong in that state that matters so much. It looks like a real threat to your firewall. Well, George, you know, that's one poll. There have been several polls out this week, one including that showed us up five in Ohio. We feel pretty good about where we are on the ground there. Uh, in many cases, we're beating Mitt Romney three to one in the early vote. Our people are turning out, and they're turning out in very high numbers. We feel good about Ohio. We think we're going to win it. And oh, let's all dig into that ABC News Washington Post poll as well, Stephanie. It shows Governor Romney really making headway on the economy and who offers a clear plan on the economy. Back in July, President Obama had a 16-point lead on that measure. Today, it's tied. We know that President Obama is focused on that. Now you're distributing plans all across the country. But did you wait too long? Absolutely not. I mean, you know, it's interesting that you're pointing out your national tracker poll, but in the Virginia poll you just cited, we are beating Mitt Romney when it comes to who do you trust to get the economy going, who do you trust uh, for the next four years. In terms of the president's plans, we're happy to talk about them. The president laid them out at the convention. We ran a two-minute ad on it. We've been campaigning across, on, across the country on this plan, you know, whether it's uh, putting the best trained workers in place all over this country, 100,000 math and science teachers, bringing jobs back to this country rather than sending them overseas, or doing some nation building here at home, or ending two wars, using that savings to do some nation building here at home. These are big plans. And the president uh, laid the, them out at the convention. Uh, and it's, it's what, you know, a second term of an Obama presidency would mean. So it do does you... stand in, in sharp contrast to Mitt Romney's plans, which essentially just boils down to a $5 trillion tax cut he can't pay for. So how do you explain why the gap is closed so much? George, we can look at these polls uh, a million different ways. They all say something different. At the end of the day, what we are focused on is getting the president out across this country, meeting as many voters as possible, but also implementing that ground game that we've invested so heavily on. Our people are coming out. Ohio, Florida, the first day of early voting in Florida yesterday, record numbers of people are coming out to vote. It's something like we've never, ever seen. Uh, and that's a sign. It's a sign that there is momentum behind the president's reelection. There is energy on the ground. We're a little over a week out, and we're confident. We're also seeing a raft of newspaper endorsements come out overnight on the weekend. Gov President Obama getting the endorsement of the New York Times, several newspapers in Ohio. The big surprise, though, this morning, the Des Moines Register hasn't endorsed a Democrat since, uh, a Republican since 1972, Richard Nixon. They mm -hmm. endorsed Mitt Romney, saying he offers a fresh economic vision. I want to read a part of that uh, endorsement right here. It says, Barack Obama rocketed to the presidency from relative obscurity with a theme of hope and change. A different reality has marked his presidency. His record on the economy the past four years does not suggest he would lead in the direction the nation must go in the next four years. How much does this hurt? Well, you know, they, they endorsed Mitt Romney in the primary. So this is not much of a surprise. It was a little surprising to read that editorial because it didn't seem to be based at all in reality, not just in the president's record, but in Mitt Romney's record. It says that he'd reach across the aisle, which he'd do the exact opposite. It's the exact opposite of what he did in Massachusetts. And of course, over the course of running for president over the last six years, he's never once stood up to the far extreme right wing. Uh, well, just this past week we saw it when he wouldn't take down his ad for uh, Richard Murdoch, uh, who had, you know, it's a now famous comment that it's God's will if a woman gets pregnant through rape. Uh, he's not willing to stand up when it matters. So the fact that he's going to bring people together and work across the aisle is just nonsense. And in terms of newspaper endorsements, uh, you know, we feel pretty good <laughs> about where we are. This morning's bring the, the Miami Herald, the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, uh, the New York Times, uh, the Minneapolis Star Tribune, the Toledo Blade, the Youngstown Vindicator. I could go on. We feel good. There is momentum. There is movement out there uh, with people wanting a second term of, of an Obama presidency. We feel good about where we are. Finally, let's get into the impact of Hurricane Sandy. We've already seen President Obama cancel trips to Virginia and Colorado. You all have invested so much in the ground game to get out the vote. How much does the hurricane hinder your efforts there? Well, we have to we have to see how it goes. You know, of course, we're all 
uh, hoping uh, that uh, the hurricane doesn't have huge consequences for people's safety. Uh, we've taken every precaution that we possibly can. The president took down a couple of stops so that he could be at the White House to monitor the situation. And of course, he's uh, you know given every uh, resource uh, he can to state, state and local partners to ensure that people are safe. Um, so we, we just have to see how this goes. Uh, and of course, we're all hoping for the best and for, for people's safety. Okay.